The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, Corey Jade. Hey, where's the horse? What are you talking about? Yeah, what horse? The high horse this superstar always seems to be on. Did Jerry Lawler write that line for you? She is ready for this big match, and she knows everyone backstage will be watching her make an impact. A massive presence in the women's division. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Gonzalez. Alongside Dakota Kai, Raquel Gonzalez won the first ever Women's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. And were the first ever NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Raquel Gonzalez, definitely a woman you want in your corner. A true powerhouse of the game physically outmatches everyone she steps into the ring with. Six-foot-tall powerhouse Raquel Gonzalez laser-focused for tonight's matchup. Oh, yeah, Raquel Gonzalez has the size, strength, and bad attitude to push just about any superstar in the women's locker room. And here's a cover. One. Getting the shoulder up before two. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. No, that clothesline hurt. Holding on. For more in a second. I say the third time's the charm. Will that be the case? No way! A oh, foot just stomping down. Gonzalez was scouted there. A oh, jumping stop to the gun. Ooh, stinging kick. Oh man, by the head. And she goes for the pin. One, two, and they kick out at two. That was a long two count there. Gonzalez needs to figure things out. Not expecting this. Not at all. The nerve that she would have to come out here right now. It's perfect timing. Trying to put this in the way. Shoulders down, roll up. That pin attempt might have been a tad premature. She got launched. To the outside. This could get wild. Strikes with a kick. Drop that bow. Looking bad for her here. Yeah, as Gonzalez was possibly testing the limits of her opponent there. Uh-oh, get ready to lands an elbow. Oh, that might have just broken something. Did you see that? Oh, uh, one step ahead of Gonzalez there. Bulldog brings them down. Oh, 
She flips it back on her. Six. Oh, man. Face buster. Six. Have to head back into the ring now. Yeah, count's running out. Eight. Nine. These two competitors keeping a safe amount of distance between one another. Referee's count stop. She stays in this. Just barely pulled. Set right out of the ring. She heads out, but this one can be lost by count out. She's got the whole WWE Universe rallying behind her. Able to elude it. To the abdomen. That offense really hitting her hard. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Not going to think about picking up the pace a bit. Three. Able to get the advantage here. Boom, right across the small of the back. Four. And now she's getting back into the ring. Done with the head scissors. Oh, stop! Oh, what a kick! Gonzalez saves herself. Hoisted over into the gory special. Could be looking for a submission here. Oh, this is so painful. Just straining the body. Last uh, submission locked in. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Is she gonna tap out? How much longer can she hold on? Not sure why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. Look at her stumble back up. Probably seeing double vision. Scramble from the middle row. Oh, reversal catches Gonzalez. That'll turn the lights out. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. We're going to finish it off. as we've seen in recent memory. This one could have really gone either way, but the end result just goes to show you what a combination of opportunity and preparation can do for someone.